Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, then you know that this is my car. It's a 2009 328i E90. And uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about how I came to get it and uh, what brought me to it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so my last car was a 2004 Pontiac GTO with an LS1 motor. That's a 5.7 liter V8. Big monster engine, loads of torque, really fun to drive, rear wheel drive also. And, uh, but it was a two door, and I have a daughter, so I needed a four door. And um, the car had an idle problem, so I'd taken it to a lot of shops, and nobody could figure it out. But this one shop claimed that they fixed it, but the next day when I got it back, my throttle body jammed wide open and couldn't stop the car, and I crashed into a wall coming around a corner. And uh, so then I needed a car immediately. So I was looking for a rear wheel drive car with four doors, but still small and sporty. So I was looking at Cadillac ATSs, BMW 3 Series, uh, Mercedes C-Class. Uh, there might have been a few others, but those are the main ones I was looking at. And maybe some CTSs from Cadillac also. And uh, they just really didn't catch my eye like the 3 Series did though. And I really wanted a 335, but the reliability issues from the N54 motor really threw me off. And N54, I mean N55 3 Series were a little above my price bracket. I was pretty much only had the insurance money from the car to buy a car. So I really wanted to have low monthly payments and just, you know, low maintenance cost. And uh, I saw a 328 at a dealership in Charlotte, so I went and test drove it. And it was still a little more than I wanted, but I loved the car. I found another 328 inside the same dealer network in Georgia and had them bring it on up. And uh, it was in really good condition. The paint wasn't all, it wasn't the best, but the interior had been really well taken care of. The one I test drove's interior was kind of falling apart. But so that's how I got my 2009 328i BMW. I really love the car. It's fun to drive. I highly recommend it to anybody. It looks good. And BMWs really keep their style for a long time, I and mean, the E46s still look like they could be new, so I'm hoping that this car will kind of keep that same feel for a while. And uh, I just love the car, really. I could not go on enough about it. And I've got plenty of videos on my channel and other people's channels out there just showing you all the cool aspects of the car, things you can do to them. My only complaint about this car is the N52 motor really doesn't have a lot of mods available for it. And I think that that's just because its sibling is the N54 and the N55, which are turbocharged and make it a lot easier to mod. I mean, you can just turn up the boost on them, and you've got an insanely powerful car. But like I said, it's a great car. Thank you for watching, and hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.